Hi everybody, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger here. I apologize for the background noise. I am in the Natural News Forensic Food Lab and I want to give you an update on what's been going on because I've had a lot of questions following my announcement of uh, some, some major food science breakthroughs to be announced here at Natural News on January 7th, 2014. And a lot of people, since I made that announcement and kind of hinted at what it might be about, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a series of big breakthroughs in food science. It will change the food industry. It will change the supplements industry. It will shift things dramatically. Uh, a lot of people have expressed concern um, for my safety, I guess. I, you know, but, but look, I'm j the reason I'm making this video is because Yes, it's true. I haven't been responding to email. I haven't been returning any phone calls. I haven't been writing as many articles. I have been here, basically, in this laboratory, um, getting things done and uh, deeply engaged in research. And yeah, it's true. I haven't been getting as much sleep lately. Um, I've been putting in a lot of hours here. But once you see the announcement, I mean, right now I've got like a little bit under two months left to get this done and um, fully described and documented and published, uh, you'll see on January 7th, 2013, or 2014, excuse me, that that effort is most definitely worth it. And again, I, I apologize for the background noise. I've actually got, uh, I've got acids <laughs> behind me here that are in process. I don't have caps on them yet, so I'm running the fume hood. I've got um, a vacuum pump running over there that's making some noise. I've got some automated sequences running. Um, I literally cannot stop this lab to, to film a video without noise. I guess unless I go outside and film it or something, but I'm, I'm filming it right here just to give you an update. And, and again, I apologize for the noise. So, um, wow, what is this all about? I can't tell you yet. Oh, but I do have a new uh, bib. See that? Uh, spooning leads to forking. Yes, yes, we all know that. Um, I've decided not to wear lab coats. I wear, I wear aprons <laughs> around the lab, which a lot of people here think is kind of funny or something. Um, and I do have permission to, to film here, by the way, in, in this facility. I'll tell you more about the facility in January and who we partnered with to make this happen. Um, I can tell you that, that, that what we're working on is extremely high level food science research. No, no one has done this ever. Not the FDA, not the CDC, not the USDA, no university, no scientists. And I've, I've got scientists essentially on staff as, as consultants uh, who, who I'm working with on this and they've never heard of th this going on before. But Everybody who hears about this is just astonished that no one else has done this before. So it, it's, it's a big deal. It, it's empowering consumers, okay? When you get the results of this research, and it's all gonna be made available for free, uh, fully documented, backed up, validated, quality control, calibrated, everything. You, we're gonna put that out for free on, on the internet. This will empower you in a way that you as a food consumer or a dietary supplement consumer or a superfood consumer or a mom or a dad trying to feed your kids, whatever, it will empower you in a way that you have never been empowered before. And there will be some corporations that very much hate the fact that this is coming out. Um, it is going to be, but you know, hey, look, I, I, this is not opinion what's coming out here. This is documented scientific research. So some people are gonna love it, some people are gonna hate it. That's life, you know, that's, 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 that's just what it is. I can't, I can't change the numbers to make every company happy, right? So what's coming out is, is well, it, I just can't, I can't give you all the details yet. And, and, and the reason is because it would cause more problems to give you only part of the story. I've got to get the whole story nailed down and documented and get it to you, and that's what I'm doing. So, you probably noticed that I haven't been appearing on, on radio shows lately. I haven't been hosting for anybody else. I haven't been doing anything. 
except working in here. I did film some episodes for Guy MTV. I finished the 12 episodes. That's done. Um, I haven't committed to any more episodes, and I won't until 2014 because, because of this work here. So th this is my focus. So if you see that we're not publishing as many stories on natural news, don't, don't worry. It's just temporary, okay? This has got to get done. This, what, what's happening here is so, is so important that, that everything else is irrelevant that, that we could be doing by far. I mean, compared to even Obamacare, it, Obamacare is a, is a small issue compared to this. Believe me, this, this, is, this is bigger than all those things. This is bigger than politics. This is bigger than typical FDA issues or, or censorship of health claims of natural products or whatever. This is bigger than all that. So I am filming episodes for uh, David Icke on his new network, The People's Voice. So you can catch my episodes there. I, I think I'm going to be filming them right here for now until I get a studio <laughs> ready at another location. So you can check those, you can check those out uh, again on David Icke's network, The People's Voice. I'll be doing um, an hour a week, and I'll be bringing you information on food science, dietary supplements, uh, health myths, exposed, explained, debunked, you know, whatever. All of these kinds of things I'm going to be covering with David Icke, and I, I, I want to thank David Icke for giving me the opportunity to do that, although I barely have time to even film it. It's, it's that insane. I've got a queue of work here that's going to require me to work <laughs> through Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. And, you know, I hope everything stays up, right? Um, if, we have, if we have equipment <laughs> failures here, it could set me back. So keep your fingers crossed, folks, that we get all this done and get it out, get it announced on January 7th. Anyway, the bottom line is I'm doing great. I'm, I'm really passionate about this. I'm super excited about this. I can hardly sleep. So if I look a little bit more weary than usual, it's because I'm not sleeping, okay? I, <laughs> it's, it's true. I, you know, I, I wake up, boom, I'm just, I'm, I'm in the lab because I, this is so important and I, I see where this is going. So uh, don't worry about my safety or, or if you see fewer articles in the short term, don't worry about it. Everything is good. In fact, we are on such an amazing track here that it's, it's the most important work that we've ever done at Natural News, and it's the most important work that I've ever done personally in my life. And, and finally, I know uh, some of you asked a question like, what, what, hey, Mike, all of a sudden you think you're a food scientist? What, like, where did that come from? What, what the hell, basically? Um, you know, look. Anyone can be a scientist if, if, if you follow rules of logic and mathematics and you understand the, the fundamentals of, of science. It's, uh, science is within reach of everyone. And I think, in fact, most scientists would want more people to engage in science. It's not like scientists are a, are a super class of elite people who have special knowledge that no one else can, can tap into. And that's absurd. The science should be available to everyone, and it is. And... I'm a scientist. You can be a scientist too if you if you study, if you if you learn, if you uh, teach yourself. You take the courses that I've taken. You learn from the consultants that I've hired that are, that are training me and and uh, the review that I've done. But basically, graduate level uh, college courses on uh, chemistry uh, is typically what what's going on. Um, you can learn this stuff. So. Science, in my mind, science is really just, it's, it's, in this context, it's a set of tools. And what, what I'm doing with those tools is adding the, the creativity and the, the, the vision of how this impacts humanity. What is this? And it's hard to explain this without, without explaining too much, but uh, this affects humanity in such a huge way. This affects the course of civilization. This affects the rise and falls, uh, the rise and fall of civilization. This affects uh, families. This affects in interpersonal interactions. This affects the education system, the criminal justice system. Um, all, all of these things are, are affected by the work that, that we are putting together here right now. 
And it's all just logical. It, it's, this, this is not, I said in an article, I said this is not, you know, voodoo science. This is not so-called woo-woo science. Not that I, I'm, I'm not against, you know, so-called woo-woo stuff. You know, medita meditation is very real. Um, you know, I do yoga. Uh, uh, I'm into superfood nutrition. Uh, I, I think vibrational medicine is very real and very true and so on. But those are, those are not considered, you know, conventional um, core mainstream uh, science, uh, although I think they will be eventually. But um, the way I'm working, what I'm working on here is all core conventional science. So even though I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with all those things that are considered fringe science or alternative science or advanced science, the work that I'm doing here, uh, part of what you can see behind me, is really just conventional science. This is not, you know, no one's going to argue with this uh, from the conventional science realm. You know, in fact, uh, m the work I'm doing here will be replicated by other universities and other scientists uh, probably very quickly after we release it. You know, one university already uh, replicated my research on the chicken McNuggets. Remember the microscopy? where we looked at the, the strange fibers <laughs> in the Chicken McNuggets, crazy stuff. Uh, there's going to be a lot of universities that, that want to follow this research here. And we'll be giving them some new concepts that I've developed in chemistry, in food, food, food chemistry basically, food science, that uh, are concepts that, that will change the way people think about food, nutrition, toxicity, detoxification, shopping for groceries, reading labels, all these things. Uh, developmental nutrition, uh, prenatal nutrition especially and and pre prenatal nutrition what h how all this impacts women who think they might want to get pregnant and what that means for future generations and the epigenetic factors of um, uh, of how cell genetics are activated or deactivated suppressed by the environment the environment being the the, the food nutrients uh, minerals metals, synthetic chemicals that are surrounding the cell. So uh, what you eat becomes the environment for your cells. Uh, when, when, when the conventional science industry talks about so-called environmental science, it doesn't mean trees and the forest and rivers and streams necessarily. It can also mean how does the environment affect your cell biology. Uh, uh, what's in your blood is everything to do with environmental science. What's in your cells is also about environmental science. What you eat is all about environmental science. So, because of course, uh, food is created from the environment, right? So whatever's in the environment goes into your food, which then goes into your body when you consume it, which then becomes part of your body, part of your cells. So when we talk about food science here and we do the research that I'm engaged in, this is environmental research, really. Y you, know, you could call it food science, but it's really environmental research. And now behind me, you probably notice this fume hood. That's one of the things that's making noise. There are other things making noise. But um, you see a digital scale, I think, over here. This is something that we use to weigh samples. You might, I think you see some quartz vials behind me and some special containment, a, a special containment rack. Um, what do we have over here? Probably some, uh, what is that? <laughs> I'm trying to look at the preview. Oh yeah, we have a, we have a rocker, a vortex mixer, and uh, some sample, sample equipment, and some pipe headers and things like that. I'm not showing you the whole lab. Uh, I, I'm never going to show you the whole lab because there are some things we're doing here that that are uh, that that I've developed that are very advanced, and and I, I'm I'm going to be a little bit secretive about them until I publish the scientific papers. In the scientific papers, the, the processes will be fully described. So if you can read the scientific paper, then you can figure out what we're doing. Um, if you don't read the paper, you probably won't know exactly how we're doing what we're doing. But it'll be, it'll be in the paper. And most importantly, all of the, the, the methodology that I use here will be replicable. So other scientists, other universities, they can take this information they can, um, uh, they can replicate exactly what I'm doing and they should be able to get consistent results, uh, you know, within a, a margin of error. But the point is that, that um, for those of you who asked, uh, I'm doing fine, I could use a few more hours of sleep, I assure you, but I'm having a great time here and we're developing some breakthrough science on food nutrition 
and no, nothing is going to happen to me between now and January 7th. Um, I know how to take care of myself. I know how to stay safe. You know, uh, I'm not advertising my location in this laboratory. We have confidentiality agreements in place with everybody and so on and so forth. So don't worry about me. January 7th, the big announcements are coming and it's that, that day is just the start, okay? So we're gonna have announcements, probably a couple of big announcements in January and then continuing in, in February and March and so on. In fact, the whole year of 2014, we're gonna be releasing data and releasing some of the, um, some of the concepts and the, the formulas that we've developed here that you can use in your quest for cleaner, more nutritious food and, and, and basically better longevity, better uh, uh, fertility, reproduction, state of mind, mood, all of these things. Um, in fact, what we're doing, what we're doing here is going to allow individuals who understand this and who embrace this to be essentially a status that some might call superhuman. And I wouldn't use that term because it's not superhuman. All I'm doing is allowing you to, to restore the humanity that you innately have. So right now we are living in a status of suppression where we are subhuman. The, the general population is subhuman, okay, when it comes to uh, nutrition and toxicity and food interactions and uh, the body assimilation of these nutrients, environmental contaminants of foods and so on. What we're gonna be releasing here will allow you to be, by that standard, superhuman. All right, and, and that's, how, that's how I got here. By following a specific protocol that allowed me to learn the science to become part of this, pro well, to lead the project, to develop it. Um, <laughs> but I'm not the only one here, okay? Th there are multiple people involved. I'm just the one who, who knows the end point, how, how we get there, and I have developed the methodology to get us there. And the only reason I was able to do that was because I followed a specific protocol that I'm gonna share with you that altered my brain function. It's, it's, it's that simple. It, it gave me massive clarity, much greater intelligence, super learning ability, super memory ability, and, and other things that I will share with you when the time, when the time comes. Uh, the, the, the downside of this is that once you enter that realm, you can never go back to just talking about politics and you know, celebrity news and all this crap because it doesn't, doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. When you, when you are, are operating at a certain level, your, your perspective is so, you know, large that you, you, you can't, you can't go back to the way you used to live your life. I mean, I can't even turn on television anymore. It, I, I mean, I literally cannot stand it. it it's, 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 it is so dumbed down and so anti-intelligent that I, I just can't even deal with it. And, and then the other uh, challenge is, of course, explaining the things that, that y your concepts, explaining them, you know, sharing them with others and having a discussion and so on. Because you've got, you've got a population out there, the vast majority of the population, and I know you watching this are the exception to this because obviously you're watching national news and uh, you're far above average intelligence. You're probably in the top 1%, if not higher. Uh, but you know that most of the population is pretty dumbed down well, uh, it's hard to talk to them about this, even when you're trying to help them. And you see, uh, this science here, this is about helping other people, ultimately. This is about, this is a gift to humanity, to human civilization. But to be able to help those people, you gotta be able to communicate to them. And the problem is many people are so dumbed down and so cognitively damaged and partially lobotomized, and I mean that literally. I don't mean that, that's not a metaphor. They're partially lobotomized. Their brains have been fried by, by some of these, the, you know, like vaccine, you know, mercury and vaccines, for example. That they can't even understand what you're talking about when you're trying to help them. When you're trying to, you're trying to save them. And, and I don't mean to say that, you know, it's not my responsibility or your responsibility to save everybody else, but at least we want to help people wake up to a, a greater truth and to be, to be all that that they are destined to be here as a, a, a spiritual conscious being in a human body. You know, the, 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 you're here for more than just to, to eat 
hot dogs and, and watch TV and vote for the next jackal in the White House. You know, that's not your mission here. You're destined for a lot more than that. And the work that I'm doing here will help people get to that where they can, they can really unleash who they really are at every level. Uh, uh, physical, biochemical, mental, and spiritual. It is, it is a, a multi-layered, multi-level awakening. And it all starts literally with the stuff behind me, you know, 70% nitric acid. I'm not saying you don't, you don't drink that stuff. I'm saying this is part of the research. You know, we've got, we've got vials. We've got a lot of instrumentation here. And this is, about, this is about waking people up in a way that you never, you, you never thought, uh, you probably never imagined that you would see what we're about to release. So January 7th, 2014, uh, watch naturalnews.com. We'll have the announcements there. And in fact, I don't know, some parts of it may come out sooner. It, 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 it's hard to tell. But thank you for watching. I'm sorry for this little bit of a rambling thing. Oh, oh finally, um, I found a way to radically enhance uh, cognitive function, awareness, learning, memory, you know, conceptual scale without using any uh, mind-altering substances or hallucinogenics or synthetic drugs or street drugs or anything like that because I'm not into that stuff. I would never do that stuff. That's not who I am. But there's another way. And it's not through meditation, although that's one great way. It's not, it's not breathing therapy. That's another great way. It's not through fasting. That's another great way. I'm all pro-fasting, you know. I have another way to share with you that's going to come out in January. And it's, uh, it's a way that, um, well, it has, it has everything to do with what's going on here in the Natural News Forensic Food Laboratory. So, oh, enough said, huh? Thank you for watching. Sorry about my rambling uh, uh, delivery. Obviously, I don't have any notes. This is not rehearsed. I'm just sharing with you because so many people were asking, are you okay? What are you doing? What's going on? So I, I just decided to share that with you here. Thank you for watching. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger for naturalnews.com. Take care.